Newport, the team that scores it goes in with a lift. The team that gets scored upon comes out with a little bit of a down feeling. But uh, the Americans are into this game pretty heavy right now. They're, there's no worry on their point about what's going to happen. They feel they've got this one under control. Okay, we're on the way now the third quarter. The ball in midfield belongs to their board. It's rolling down to the Wichita head. With it is Pear Rutherford, Washington by here. He puts it by him up along the near boards. For Rasmussen. Rasmussen can't get it by Stevie Long, switches off. And with Kulik, he sends it up ahead for Pear A little heel pass along the near boards. With this Rasmussen. Long rolling fast. The board back to Rasmussen. Rasmussen lost the handle and boot just knocks the ball away from him. Oh, it was a beautiful give and go breakaway for Wichita, but luckily Rasmussen couldn't control the bouncing ball. Wichita still has the ball in the Memphis set. Now they pick it out to midfield. Omar Gomez brings it back over the red line up the middle. Walks to the top of the box. Gomez passing it off the near corner. Boards. Knocked away by Allison. He turns and clears it while sitting down. And now Garrett sends it out to midfield. Trying to get it with Stamekovich, but Culey takes it away. Out of Omar Gomez. Kevin Culey. Back it goes to Pair Munford. Ridden off the play by Kovac. Takes it right away. Kicks it out midfield, but right. And I mean, right to Rasmussen. Out of Culey. Culey back to uh, Rasmussen. Back to Culey. Culey midfield near side. Turn sends it back to his own end. Wichita just moving the ball around. Waiting for its opportunity to break downfield. Omar Gomez has it now. His side of the circle. Runs into the circle. Brings it over the red line. Late pass far side. Shot way wide of the near corner. Bounces around the near corner board. Stevie Allison controls. And brings it out to midfield. Boot hollering as defenseman get downfield and help out. Stamakovich has it knocked away by Paramount, but he bangs it off the board to control. Up to Christensen. He works on Garrett. Christensen still has it in midfield. Leads a pass to Piper. Piper brings it over the Memphis red line on the near side. Pass top of the box. Knocked away by Allison to right for the first. Kuno, the midfield, passing to Garrett. He had to slow up to control it. Now passes to the near side, and so is Nietzsche. 12.51 to go in the third quarter. The Americans need one to tie. Yeah, so Nietzsche sends it back to Hood. Up to Steve Dorr in the game for the first time tonight. Now so is Nietzsche. On the run along the far board. So is Nietzsche. Passes to Mekovic. Far side of the box. Stan down the left side. Stan with Willen on him. Goes to the corner. Stan still battling. Stan still has the ball. Stan looking for the pass. He's finally knocked away. And Mack makes his play on. Midfield play. Norman Piper. Piper on the trot. Across the red line. Passes to Greg Willen. In the game for the first time for Wichita. He's on the near boards. To Bourne. Back it goes to Willen. Out of Christensen. Near side of the circle. Chip shot pass to the far corner. Knocked away by Holden Pine. Door clears the zone off the far boards. But it goes right to Kim Runfin. To Christensen. Christensen brings it through the circle. Kicking pass near, I mean, to the far corner off the boards. Trying to keep it alive as Rutt bed into the box. It goes to clear the way by door. Now with it is Holden Pine back to Bertel. Bertel on the run over the red line. Bertel still control. Bertel on the slot. Passing a near wing. Holden Pine a shot. Did get it all. An easy save by Donner, who just fought down at his right side and stopped the slow roller. 11.31 to go, third quarter. Loose ball in the, the Wichita end. Dollar turns it away from Holden by and over the glass. And where's the two-minute penalty? I mean, Dollar just cleared it away from Holden by and just trying to knock it away. It went up into the crowd. Should have been or could have been very easily in the lay of game call. And the league supervisor of officials says no. Ball keeps in the box of Sullivan, trying to get it back to Barrett, but it goes to the line on the far point. His pass into the box, headed away by Wichita, and they bring it out to midfield. Long line drive pass, far corner, boot out of the box, into the corner, and controls for Memphis. Crosses it through his own penalty area, near boards for Stevie Dorr. Dorr can go on the glass near side, intercepted by Cooley, taken back by Holden Line, but right off the head of Horace Barrett, who just recoiled, ricocheted his head back as it came to him a little too quickly. And now the Wings have it back in the run end. Rasmussen up to midfield. On the run, here come the Wings over the red line. The middle shot saved by Booth. On the shot by Big Bear Rutgers. Booth brings it outside his own penalty area, kicks it up midfield to Barrett, and his pass intercepted by Cooley to Christensen, but he lost the handle to Steve Doerr. 10.35 to go. Door long downfield pass headed by Holzenbein for Barrett, but winning the race was Rasmussen. 
Sends it back to Dowler. Dowler takes it back to Rasmussen. Now they bring it along the near boards out to midfield. He turns, crosses it to the far boards, and Bear Rundman. Rundman looks more like a linebacker for the Miami Dolphins. Kicks it out of the near boards and Christensen. Christensen has it knocked away by Holden by. Door has it. Back to Rudolph. The door back to Rudolph as they try to set things up for the Americans and start the charge. Kick back to the middle zone by Culey. Bouncing ball to the far corner. Bounces over the glass. And it will be the Americans' ball. Clock stop with 10 minutes and three seconds left to go in the third quarter. The Americans get this uh, line on the field with Holtz and Vine and uh, Horace Pirtle. What you have here, Tom, you've got two midfielders who both like to control the ball, but nobody's willing to make a move up front. And they've got to get a little bit deeper to stretch this Wichita defense out. Otherwise, they're going to be caught in the middle zone all game. Americans lose the ball at midfield, and Wichita takes it back in its own zone. Here by Rutherford, all the way down to the left of the in the air, over all three lines. It's a three-line violation. Americans put it to play at the Wichita red line. Holden by driving off the post again. That's four for Holden by. Four off the post. He put that one off the far post from the near point. O'Sullivan waiting for the pass in the near corner. Knocked away from him by Rutherford over the glass, and it'll be Wichita's ball. Holtz and Bond deals so much with what he should become a cop. Oh, my goodness. Holds and by owns the posts. Unfortunately, he wishes the league, when they sat down five years ago, had made the goals about six inches wider. I'll tell you, that's why uh, Mike Dowler had so few saves this game. And that's four, four for all nice four goals. Yeah. Take, take half of those. We'll take them. And there have been seven, six for Memphis. But the fifth and nuts for candies and nuts, so what a great Christmas it would be, right? Andy down, huh? Midfield play for the ball is Andy Chapman. The pyramid that crosses down to the near side and Cooley is just inside the red line. Passing to the near corner. Knocked away by Kuno. Garrett controls it off the boards. Now to Steve Allison. Allison giving it off to Kuno on the near boards. He's at his own red line. Kicks it cross field far side. Oh, Henry Sosa takes it back near side to Kuno. 9.05 to go. Third quarter action here at the Mid-South Coliseum. Allison leads past the Sosnitsa. Under let him knocked away by Moore. Here comes Wichita. Down the far side. Lob pass to the near corner. Gomez. Man on the shot. And loose ball goes to Stance to make it. It's playing defense. And who all start the defender? Oh, my goodness. Midfield play. Henry Sosnitsa. Sosnitsa tripped up. They say foul on Wichita. I was waiting. I was just waiting for Macknick to say play on. They put it in play to Smekovic. Stop it about Stan. A shot and a goal! Stan Smekovic turned to his left and fired. And the Americans tie it up. There's a break in the action with the score. The Americans six and Wichita six. Sorry. Man, I killed my when I dropped it. Time of the goal, 621. Stance to Megovich, his second goal. The goal on with four assists. Henry Sosnitsa gets the assist on this one. And we're all tied at 6-6. Six, six. Stamekovic has either scored or assisted on every goal for the Americans tonight. Here's what the John the Memphis end, top of the box. Jasperson has it knocked away out the midfield. Stamekovic takes it off the near boards. At the center line, he is held from behind by Kim Rutman. And the ball against Wichita. Stamekovic now with bodily moves that resemble about an 88-year-old man holding his back, limping with one leg. The man looks like he belongs in intensive care. And he's got six points tonight. Kunabas banging it off the near corner for Stam, but it's intercepted by Rundman. 8 one to go. Third quarter of the game is all tied at six. What a contest tonight at the Coliseum. Long downfield pass intended for Chapman. Knocked away by Allison. It's picked up way up into the crowd. And it'll be Wichita's ball on a kick in just in front of the Americans bench across the way. Stamankovich with two goals, four assists tonight. What a show he's put on. Ball intercepted by Garrett in his own red line. Nakuno, Kuno through the circle, two on two over the red line, a drive up into the crowd. And Donald will have a goal kick. Oh, everything looks so beautiful. 
the steal, the run, the drive, and it goes about 10 rows up. 7.43 to go in the third quarter. The Americans battling. At one point tonight, they led 2-0. They found themselves trailing 5-2. Now they're tied at 6-6. They're doing it without helmet Duda and Tony Carbignani, who are sidelined with injuries tonight. Hopefully, they will be back for the Chicago game Sunday. Wichita with the ball at midfield. Five boards, long battling. with Kim running back, knocked by Rudrow, drop and taken right back by Wichita. Norman White. White bouncing feed, looking for Chapman. Taken away by Steve Doerr. Doerr turns, turns it back to Richard Booth. He has turns to trip it up ahead of Matt O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan, long near board, stop shy of his own red line. Leaves it now for Doerr. Now for Bruce Rudrow. Rudrow kicking it high, went along with Parr Boyd. He bounces down to the near corner. Stevie Long battling loose ball in the box. Uh, holds it by, couldn't get to it. Holds it by a rebound pass. Now to Stevie Long. He couldn't get a shot away. Stevie keeping it alive, top of the box. Holds it by a shot, broken up by Rutgers. Holds it, keeping it alive. Long trying to head it in there, couldn't do so. Rudrow the drive to save by Downer. Six forty two to go. Long brings it back to the Wichita zone. Long down the near side. A shot and a save by Dowler. And he rolls it up ahead to Christensen. The Americans unleashing the firepower. Long lob to the Memphis penalty area. Bourne, heel pass, and Booth makes the save easily. As that's the only thing Bourne could have done as he was going away from that. He's trying a little heel pass, but he's no Stamekovic. 6-18 to go, third quarter, door, midfield, near board, battling with Christensen, he is held by Jorgen, who turned, no, foul is on door. Even Jorgen thought the foul was against him, here's Curley now at the Memphis red line, stopping, gives it along the red line, near side to Christensen, Christensen along the near board, works his way in, lead pass, by corner, shot off the board, out in front, Rudrow tries to clear it away, a shot and a block by Rudrow. Boot was out of position. The shot was taken by Rasmussen and Bruce made the stop. Foul, pushing foul against Steve Long as Christensen picks himself off the flash to grass. And the wins to put it in play on the far point of the American zone. They kick it top of the box, turn, shoot, blocked by the Americans' defense. Out midfield. With it is pair run back. It was definitely not pair shape. <laughs> 5.41 to go. Third quarter. Midfield. Run fed on the near board. Run fed running over the Memphis red line. Now the near side. A long drive off the crossbar. Oh, Justice. Gomez has the rebound in the slot. Beating far side of the drive by Rasmussen. Rebounds off the board. Out of front. Kicked in the air by Holzenbein. Loose ball in front. Kicked by Kewley up into the crowd. And it ought to go to the Americans. I think it was off on the Suja. Well, yeah, it's a corner kick. Shot by Carol Rutherford, but uh, Rich Boone not even, not even got his hands up in the air. I don't think he turned his head fast enough to see him go by. Well, at least uh, equal justice. Gomez puts it in play. A shot broken up by Gore in the box. Rebound ricochets all the way out the midfield. Runs that sends it all the way back to his own goalie. And Dowler leisurely kicks it up ahead for Rasmussen. Off his body, but it rolls right to Kewley. He sends it off the near boards for Rasmussen. Rasmussen over the board. Over the red line, I should say. Down the near side, a shot. It's missing wide left to the near side. Gomez putting it in the net. And he saved by Booth. Good one-touch combination by Gomez. And he couldn't get a shot away. Here's Stevie Long along the near boards in the Wichita zone. On. Looks for the pass. Long down the left side. Gets himself up on a shot. Here's a loose ball. Holzenbein scores! Van Holzenbein, after hitting the post four times, has an open net goal. The Americans take the lead. There's a break of the action with the score. Memphis 7 and with the toss 6. Those are out of the far board. The wings control. They trail by one all of a sudden. 
Piper, top of the box, gets the pass back, but it goes off his foot right to Boone. He makes a grab, fires it out, midfield is to Nekovic. To Nekovic on the near boards, heel pass to Garrett. Garrett on the near point, back to Stan. Stan, top of the box, Stan a shot broken up immediately. Bounces to the near boards, with it is Ray Kudovac. Kudo, battling on the boards, the ball comes free to Garrett. He lobs into the box, Mr. Nekovic. To Nekovic, near corner, rebound, pass, out in front, Kudovac a shot on the save by Dollar. To Nekovic, to Garrett. Garrett, top of the box, a shot, off the crossbar! Garrett came within a whisker of getting a hat trick. In the Wichita zone, Piper swarmed and tripped up by Kuno. And wings for the ball back in play. What a game tonight at the Coliseum. Perhaps the most exciting game of the year. Rasmussen, leaving it out for Piper. Back to Rasmussen, brings it over the Memphis red line. Rasmussen crossing near side to Chapman. Back he goes along the red line. The ball tackled away by Garrett. Garrett battling on the far boards. It comes free. Mike has it. Beating now through the Stamekovic. Stamekovic in the Wichita zone up the red line. Stamekovic down the near side. Stamekovic working top of the box. Stamekovic in the box. A shot broken up immediately. Stan, get up. Quit putting your hand on your head. Get up and play soccer. Garrett passing to Stamekovic. Off his leg a little too hard. Taken by Christensen. Long downfield pass. And boot. Beats. Chapman to the uh, ball. Banged off the near board by Steve Allison. Stamekovic, Stamekovic down the near side. Stamekovic top of the box. Stamekovic a shot broken up immediately by Greg Willen. Stamekovic still has it on the far board. Stamekovic working top of the box. Knocked away, but it goes right to Kuno. Kuno a drive and a save by Dollar. Stamekovic has it in the near corner. In the foot of that, a shot. Just missing wide to the left side by a foot. Kuno had him beat by a mile, but put it wide. Zone. Christensen battling against Sosnitsa. He goes down, and they say play on. They drop. His pass is off the body of Kewley and controlled by Wichita. Rasmussen to Kewley. Passing near corner to Christensen. Into the box. His pass goes. Taken by Allison. And boom! Has to jump out of the fort. Kewley gets there. With it is Verdrop along the far more. Out midfield. Long line drive pass. Goes to the near corner. Nobody there for the Americans as they change on the fly. They had to be tired after that shift. A minute 47 to go in the third quarter. Midfield play. Gomez brings it over the Memphis red line. Top of the box is passed. Knocked away by O'Sullivan. Holden Bond has it. Holden Bond through the circle. Holden Bond over the red line of Wichita. Looks for the pass. It's broken up and taken by Cuba. Gomez coming back the other way. Lost the handle of the pass. It's taken by Jeff Horn. And now it's going back to Gomez. Brings it up over the red line. Lead pass off the foot of the Wichita lane team. Right in a boot, he made the grab. Holding by now over the red line for the Americans. Long drive dips up over the glass. I mean, that ball had English on it. I think he got a piece of uh, Carolina right now. And it'll be a corner kick for the Americans in the near corner. The Americans lead at 7-6. to six. And We've only had two goals in this quarter, but it seems like this quarter has been super, super exciting. Well, the shots have been tired. The Americans, uh, that first line has got to be tired with the number of shots they had to take. Oh, on goal! Osama put the ball in play. It ricocheted off the Wichita defender into the net, and the Americans lead it eight to six. The Americans get another goal as it's deflected in off a defender. Osama will get the goal. There's a break in the action. With the score, the Americans eight, and Wichita six. Exactly a minute to go. The goal by Al Sullivan gets the credit. He got the corner kick in play. But eventually found its way into the back of the net. As Richard Cook comes up with a save off the shot from Wichita. Down to our left. 48 seconds to go in the third quarter. The Americans win it by two, eight to six. On the runner, Steve Doerr. Waiting far quarter for Barrel. Barrel centering, top of the box. Logan Bond couldn't get there in time. But keeping it, uh, wait a minute, the foul has been cut off. Well, they call dangerous play out holes there at the top of the penalty area, so the Wings will get the ball back with 37 seconds left to go. 
in an exciting third quarter. Goals by Stamekovic, Holden Mine, and O'Sullivan have given the Americans a two-goal lead. Wichita puts the ball in play. In the Memphis zone, born on the far board, leaving a pass knocked away by Barron, but it goes right to Kewley. Kewley lobbing into the box, a header and a save by Foot just before it went in. A beautiful header by Jeff Born and an equally beautiful save by Richard. Bork Barron with the ball in his own red line, goes to Rudolph, rolling pass, Holden Bond, lay out his dollar, the ball rolling towards the net, Holden couldn't get a shot away. As dollar was way, way out up by the red line. But Holden could not get a shot away, here to put the job. 40, make it three seconds left. Gomez, far corner, into the box, a shot, and there's the horn, luckily. Because Wichita had the Americans out and in their own family area. But what a third quarter it was. That is the end of the third quarter with the score. The Americans eight. Now uh, appears to need a victory to keep up with San Diego. Right now in New York City, going into the fourth quarter, San Diego, who has been playing some awesome soccer lately, leads the New York Arrows six to two. That means uh, that would give San Diego three wins in a row over the Americans over Chicago. Now over New York. That's quite a road trip. Let me tell you. Now going to the fourth quarter. Third quarter goal to Mankovic at 621. Holes in mind at 10 13. O'Sullivan at 1350. The Lord of Endorse is back. <laughs> By the way, Wichita. Wichita changes goalkeeper. They bring Cliff Brown in to play the fourth quarter. So they change goalkeeper. Hope that maybe that'll change their luck. Cliff Brown, some of you may remember, plays in that playoff game in Wichita, the third deciding playoff game back in May. Wichita won, I think, what, 13 to 3? Murder. Yeah. We're underway now, the fourth and final quarter. Wings to the ball. Christensen alive in the near corner. Headed away by Booth. But he's going the ball in the air. Boards and watch me go over the glass. Just Carmen Pfeiffer. It's important in the fourth quarter here, Tom, that the Americans start out at 90 miles an hour. They've got to come quick on the uh, wings and keep them down. Right now, the wings are scratching their head trying to figure out what they've got to do different. Christensen in the box. A shot. Open net. Missing it wide of the near side was Andy Chapman. He had an open net, and he put it wide of the near side. Oh, I love it. 14 26 to go. Mike Garrett out to midfield. Garrett cannot get by Chapman. Chapman brings it back the other way. After sidestep Garrett, Michael the sweeping tackle. Can't knock it away. Controlling it out the red line. Back to Joe's the center circle and Kim Rutland. Out of Piper, back to Rutland. Rutland over the red line. Down the near side, Lauren Drive broken by Stamekovic. The defensive base comes up with another one. As the ball goes out of the Wichita Hammond, it looks like the Americans are kind of Kind of rolling back to a defensive shell. Let's see what happens. Well, I hope not, because uh, at this point, that's the wrong thing to do. You've exactly. got to play with them. Here, top of the box pass, just off the foot of Christensen to the far corner. Rebound pass by Piper, headed away by the Americans. And they keep the control. Boot, punching it, coming over the top of a Wichita Wings player, and punching the ball away. Out the midfield, to Megan, just outside the Wings red line. Sends it back to Allison. Allison. Over the red line, down the far side. Stevie working his way in. Steve goes to the corner. Steve a shot just wide of the near cut. Near side. Goes around the near corner. Comes all the way out. Jordan Christensen out to midfield. Running with Sozitsa. Passing near side and overleading. Number 21, Jeff Bourne. Picking it up to boot. And he throws it out to midfield. Headed by Greg Willing. And he goes to Stamekovic. Stamekovic break away. A shot and a goal! Stan Stamekovic on the breakaway. Richard Boot gets the assist. I think so. He, he would have to. He threw it up. And uh, Greg Willen missed the header. He got up there, but there was nobody coming in from behind. And we like this to think of it, so you've got to give the assist to Boot there. A break in the action. The score. The Americans 9 and Wichita 6. He got it. 13-09. Officially at 151, Stan Stamankovic. Richard Boot gets the assist. 
And that is his first point of the year. Stamekovic giving the Americans a three goal late stand now with three goals and four assists tonight. As Americans now have a much more comfortable cushion as the ball ricochets off TD Long's foot of the center circle into the official's bench down below us. And the Wings get the ball back. The Americans could use one more. I'll, I'll be happy with one more. I'll take two more. Well, I know you will. But you're greedy anyway. Just kidding. I'd love to have two more, but right now one would be beautiful. As here in the Memphis zone, it's Terry Nickel. Nickel to the near corner. Hanging the ball is deflected, and it's taken away by Steve Long. The road runner out to the field. Lays four. Baron holds it by. Holds it by. His pass broken up. Taken right away by Terrence Nickel. And a good move. Pair went, but sidestep holds it by. He's on the move. Run that over the red line, down the middle. Run that top of the box. Shot broken up by Rudrock, who came out of nowhere to break up the shot. TV Long battling for the ball, but rolling on the ground across the way is Kevin Kewley. And Stevie Long's going to go for two minutes. So the first American's penalty of the night will be charged to the proud new papa, Steve Long, his wife Abel this afternoon. Hey, first to a new little baby girl. Congratulations to Long. Stevie, that's no way to celebrate sitting in the penalty box. But nonetheless, the penalty box penalty comes at 2.45. Stevie Long goes for tripping. Stevie now one of the most penalized players on the team. This is only his third penalty of the season. Wichita with Matt advantage for the first time tonight. Gomez on the near point. The Piper leading to the far quarter. Maggie goes to Piper in the slot. His shot goes way wide on the left side. Rebounds off the board. And the wings control in the American zone. Top of the box. Ball knocked away by Espinosa. With his roof drop. And the ricochet is off Gomez right through Leo Figueroa. Leo through the circle. Leo over the red line. Leo with the ball. Trying to get a shot away. The ball bounces away. And Brown picks it up. And rolls it back up ahead to the Armand Piper. Back to Gomez. Here come the wings again. Gomez passing it along the red line. Far side to uh, Chapman. Chapman to the slot. Drive by Piper. Broken up immediately. Gomez still has the rebound. Knocked away from him. Gomez has it back. His shot was headed for the upper right hand corner of Rudrock. Again, came up with a beautiful defensive play to knock it up into the crowd. What a great defender for a shoe drop. He's a typical St. Louis type of player. He'll sacrifice his body. He's out of walk and going in. He's made some unbelievable blocks here tonight. Kick in Gomez on the near boards. Gives it out to Piper. Back to Gomez in the near corner. Gomez. Back to Piper on the point, crossing far side. A pair runs better, drive off the boards. Ricochets out to Piper. Piper in the slot. Near corner to Gomez, but nowhere near him. And Rudrop has it with 58 seconds to go on the family to Steve Long. As the ball kicks along the near boards, angles up into the crowd. The first row down below us. And it'll be Wichita's ball. As the wings are put in play right in front of the officials' bench down below us. 11 12 to go in regulation. The Americans lead by three. They're trying to kill off the Finley right now. In the far fourth, pair of runs back. Top of the slot to the two, Piper. Like it goes to Gomez. Gomez, his pass broken up by Rudrock. And Bruce kicks it along the near board. It rolls all the way down to the Wichita end, where Cliff Brown has to come up to kick it up to Piper. Tony, five seconds to go on the Finley to Steve Long. Gomez. To Christensen. Christensen top of the box back to Gomez. Gomez near side into the box. A shot and a goal. They kept passing it around. Gomez on the give and go with it looks like Rasmussen. I'm not sure who exactly got that goal. Well, we'll wait for the official announcement. There's a break in the action. The score of the Americans 9, Wichita 7. <laughs> Get a break of the action. The score of the Americans nine and Wichita seven. I didn't hear it. It was Gomez. Gomez gets the goal to make it 9-7. The Americans as Gomez sends those seats and flying with a shove from behind. And Mr. Gomez, we're going to go for two. The Americans get the man advantage back. I mean, Gomez with both arms extended just gave Henry a flying shove from behind. And Omar Gomez will serve out the second Wichita penalty of the game. 
first one of the second half. Time of this penalty will count at 434. Gomez. Wait for the official announcement. It is boarding. It should have been a very dangerous penalty as far as injury to Henry Sosnick as uh, Gomez really gave him a shot. Unfortunately, it's only a two-minute penalty because that could have been very dangerous. Yeah. Man advantage coming into the game tonight. The Americans have been successful 21 of 54 times for 39%. Wichita, not the best man advantage uh, penalty killing team around. They've given up 44% of the goals on man advantage opportunities. Figueroa, the pair the pair on the slider, shot kicked away by Wichita. And they try to clear their own zone. It's out the midfield, taken back by Leo Figueroa from Rasmussen. Ball into all the way down to Memphis end, where Richard Boot kicks it up ahead to Baron Holzenbein. Exactly 10 minutes to go in the game. Holzenbein on the right side, a shot. Figueroa couldn't tip it in as he came down the near side. Americans keeping it alive, top of the box. Dominguez in the slot. Stand with the ball. Giving it off to Figueroa. Leo off the near wing. Now into the middle, and Dominguez. Dominguez shot, tip in, go to the bat. Exactly the 
biggest goal on this team. That's his second goal of the year. But what a big one. I think killed the spider right in the corner of the net. Oh. That was as good a shot as Paramount had at the beginning of the game. Didn't have all the power that Rundbeck did. But the direction was there. So. I think that's an assist to Garrett on that. 7.44. Espinosa. Garrett should get the assist. Wait for the official last game. Again, the goal goes to George Espinosa. It is Mike Garrett with his first assist of the year to go with his two goals. Has scored all three points that he scored this season in this game tonight. Classic example of the Americans having to make up for other injuries. The injuries to Helmut Dudek and Tony Gravignani. Here you've got George Espinosa with his only second goal of the year. Mike Garrett with two goals of his career in this game tonight. Stan Stamenkovic with three goals and five assists tonight. As we said at the beginning of the game, that uh, with uh, Dudek out and Carvignani out, the younger players, I felt, were going to have a good game. The pressure was on them, but they've been waiting for this opportunity all year. And they've uh, taken advantage of it and showed that they can play the MISL. A lot of people say they're too young, bring it along slowly. Put in a situation like this, and they're going to produce. Sometimes you can't wait. Sometimes you can't wait to bring players along. Sometimes you just got to go ahead and do it. What happens like this makes a horse look like a genius. Exactly. You've got to look like a coach. It's a risky thing. Wichita back in the episode. Off the foot of Raskus, he lost the handle, and O'Sullivan sends it back to Boot. Boot fires it out to midfield with it as horse barrel. Under seven minutes now left to go in regulation. Reeves were going for their third straight win. They had one at Golden Bay and one at Los Angeles, but they're about to lose here tonight. We hope. Plenty of time left, though. The Americans lead by four. Gomez battling Bairdo. Gomez sends Bairdo down. A holding foul is against Bairdo. And Wichita puts the ball in play. Mac Nick waited, wasted no time in uh, illustrating the Fenway for the uh, foul. Ball off the foot of Gomez. Rolls harmlessly to the far court. The far corner. Holden by battling along with Bourne. Holden goes down. Ball comes along the board by O'Sullivan. And kept alive by Wichita. Here right then to Gomez on the far board. Into the far corner and Bourne. Top of the box. Shot off the glass and shot the cross bar. Ricochet is out to midfield. Worth the 12 by Pair up there. Out on the near boards and Kevin Julie. 6 11 to go in regulation. Americans lead by four. Midfield play, friction. That's down to Memphis set. Third off. Now it's about O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan along the far board. Now out to midfield. Banks along the far board. But nobody there for the Americans. But big old pair of rough then for Wichita. Now bringing the Memphis zone is purely taken away by Rudrock. Here's Holden Vine over the red line. Now on the other side. Holden a drive. Just missing. Bairdo couldn't get within. Holden gets it right back. Holden, he'll pass Rudrock. Drive saved by Brown as he went down to his right side. Ball in the near corner. Battle for the foul. Let's go. It's the Americans of Wichita gets the ball. 5.35 to go in regulation. Culey on the run over the red line. This pass off the body of O'Sullivan. Cleared out the midfield by Holden Vine. Barrett battling for on the boards. Kept alive by Holden, but Gomez takes it back. Gomez bringing it to the Memphis zone. Gomez up the middle. Three on three. Lays behind him. Long drive. Deflected in another save by Boot. Another shot up over the glass at top lead. Cross bar. The shot taken by Chapman. That little deflection was very dangerous for Richard. At the very last second, he made the reaction and slapped it with his hand. Richard Boot showing a lot of quickness tonight. He's come up with at least five class saves, and that one, uh, that one was unbelievable. That should have beaten most goalkeepers, but he reacted well. He just got his hand up and deflected off the middle. 15 left to go. Boot with their goal kick from the goal down to our right. Comes down, short of the red line, but headed by Kim Ruckbeck, the control by Kunovac, sends it back to Boot. Boot is outside his penalty area, kicks it up to Leo Figueredo. Lee, uh, Leo with pressure on his back. Still controls the ball, switches off with Kuno, but gets the ball right back. Leo Figueredo working in his own red line, leaves it back for Richard Boot. Americans content now to kind of kill the clock. 4.50 to go. Espinosa in the far corner, double team, ball is alive, kicked in on net, but taken by Boot. Thrown out the midfield, Leo Figueredo couldn't get there, he collides. Oh, you got to be kidding me. They call the foul on Terry Nichols as he and Figueredo collided. 
Couldn't make head or tail of that. That was a make it throw, I think. Back to the Memphis zone. Jordan fishes from top of the slot. Looks for some help. Christensen putting it into the box. One touch and taken away by Leo. Off the foot of Andy Chapman. Sent downfield by Boot. Taken away from Stamakovich by Greg Rillen. And the Wings control with 418 left to go. The clock's not moving too fast. In the Memphis zone. Will on a drive deflected immediately by Allison up over the glass into the crowd. And it'll be a corner kick in the park going for Wichita. The Americans lead 11 to 7. They have come alive here in the second half. Bob, top of the box, shot, whistles wide to the far side by Kim Ruckman. That one had a lot of mustard on it. Midfield, ball from the Memphis zone. Terry Nichol kicks it high, top of the box. Chapman could get a header on it. Nichol keeps it alive out to midfield off the far board, controlled by Willen. He's from behind, he'll get his call. With it is Willen. Gets it off to Nichol. Nichol over the red line, up the middle. Nichol looks for the shot, takes it, hits it off the glass and top of the crossbar. It rebounds all the way out to the red line. Pass off the body of Kudelbatch. Taken right back by Kim Rundberg. 3.38 to go. Jordan Christensen on the far board. Rush to the top of the box. Kicked away and a good move by Steve Allison. Right to Stamankovic. Stamankovic double team as a kick from behind by Rundberg. And Willen sends it back to his goalkeeper, Cliff Brown, down to our left. Up to the red line for Wichita. With it is Rundberg. Kim Rundberg. He didn't get the size his brother did, obviously. He's a smaller of the two. Rundberg across the far side, bringing it over the red line is Rillen. Rillen left to the box, into the box, shot, saved by Boot. As the player was tied up and never was able to get a good shot away. Good defense by Allison. Kept back in the zone by Pierre Rundberg. A drive missing wide to the near side. With it is Christensen on the near board. Shot and a save by Boot. A leaping grab. I think it would have been wide to the far side there. 2.48 to go in the fourth quarter. Wichita back with the ball again. On the near board. Rasmussen has it taken away by Espinosa. He turns and sends it back to Booth. He throws it up ahead for Leo Figueroa. Picked away from him by Kevin Kuehle. Up into the crowd, and the Americans will retain possession. The clock stopped with two minutes and 37 seconds left to go in regulation. Hopefully in the game, the Americans win it by the score of 11 to 7. They trailed 6 to 5 at halftime. Then they scored three goals in the third quarter to take an 8 to 6 lead, increase the lead to 11 7 here in the fourth quarter. Midfield play. What's your job? Back with the ball again. They've had it the most of the last three minutes or so. Long drive up over the glass into the crowd. The drive by Pierre Redman taken just inside the red line. That man has got some muscle. I was going to say, I would not let that guy shoot. I'd rather have him pass and have him take a shot because every shot he takes is extremely dangerous. Pierre Redman, they list him at 6'2", 180. I'd say more like 6'3", 195. He has not missed too many meals. He's right up there with Greg Phillips. Sitting in size, but he's got infinitely, infinitely much more talent than Bill it is. 2.22 to go. Wichita takes the ball right back in midfield. Gomez to the top of the box. Turning shot. Saved by Booth as he made a leap to his right side and just pushed it away at the last second as the ball was headed to the lower left side. Out the midfield, Stevie Long. Long at the circle. But Donnie Burke out the field for the first time from Memphis tonight. Stevie Dorr. Dorr brings it over the red line. Dorr drives. Saved by Brown. Long waiting for the rebound, but Douglas forthcoming. A minute 55 to go. Midfield. Gomez. The Piper puts it off the far boards and a cross field pass to Fair Rundbeck. Rundbeck brings it all the way over the red line. Takes the shot. Gets far corner. Cooley centering to the box. Pushed away by Booth. Ball comes out to the midfield there, board. Sent back to the zone by Piper. Cleared out of there by Rudrop. All the way down to the Wichita and along the near board. Minute 33 to go. Pair run fed in midfield. To the far boards and Cooley. Cooley brings it over the red line. Passing top of the box. Centering it near side to Gomez. Gomez working down back top of the box. Passing near side. Shot and a goal by number seven, Norman Tyke Piper. Piper let loose about 30 feet away from the near boards and caught the upper right hand corner past Richard Food. And considering the saves Richard has made lately, you can't fault him on that one. Cuts the Americans lead to three, but time hopefully running on with the There's a minute 20 left. Nice goal by North Piper there. Uh, 
that which is tomorrow and a cursed goal because you play a goalkeeper should not be beat on the near post. And Pritchard, as I said, we can't fault him. Uh, nice run by Piper, nice pass by Gomez, but unfortunately, Boogie just a little bit slow getting over there. Piper ducked it up in the other corner, so you can't uh, give uh, too much credit to Piper. Well, these two teams have eclipsed the goal total of the last time they played. Look at who won that one, 9-8. Now it's 11-8 Memphis, 19 goals. There's Stevie Long from Adam Sullivan to Donnie Burke. Burke down the far side. He's double teamed, but he still has it. Now he lost it, backed away from him. And on the run is Christensen. A minute to go in the game. Over the red line. Now the air board. With it is York. Kim runs that. He puts it up into the first row on the balcony down the far right. And the Americans get it back on a goal streak. 55 seconds left to go. Last week we have 8,000 here. The Americans play miserably and lose to San Diego. Tonight, 3,600. And the Americans have put on a show. It's been a great one tonight. Good. Goal kick. Headed by Brooks to the Wichita zone. TV Long with the ball in the far corner. Has a kick from behind. The ball kicked high in the air into the box. And Brown makes the grab just ahead of Figueroa. He throws it out to midfield. Gomez with 41 seconds to go. Brings it over the red line. Down the near side. Switches off with Kim Runtman. Crossing far side to Christensen. He takes the shot. Gives it off to Kewley. Back to Christensen. Far corner. Shot saved by Booth. And he smothers the rebound. Booth throws it out midfield for Stevie Long. 25 seconds to go. Long in the far corner. Has a kick from behind by Kewley. Into his goal for Brown. Kewley brings it back out of the midfield. Long kick. Knocked away by O'Sullivan. Tenant for Christensen. It goes high in the air and down into the crowd. Down below us. Wings get the ball back with 13 seconds left to go. Americans have Brooklyn in the wind column. Kewley shot saved by Booth. Nine seconds to go. In the near corner, Gomez. Gomez into the box. Shot. Fanning the shot is born. Coming out of the box is Booth. And he turns it away. And the game is over. That is the end of the game. The final score. The Americans 11. And Wichita 8. Back with a recap after this.